What's going on everyone? This is your daily dose of mental health. Um, and in this video, we will be discussing a topic that's very close to me because of how common it is. And if you're out there and use drugs or know somebody who uses drugs, I'm sure you've heard of somebody overdosing on fentanyl or heroin. So in this video, the main purpose is just to give more awareness and what to do if you're in a situation where you notice somebody who could be overdosing in ways to save, potentially save someone's life. Um, so let's jump right on into it. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Um, and ring that bell icon. All right, so let's go ahead and get going. So I, the top of it I put fit, and this is all based on um, a lot of things that I've seen in the clinical setting because I'm an RN and I work as a psychiatric RN. On, and, and one of the units I work on is a detox unit. So I wrote right here, I wanted to put fentanyl, but I put also under it heroin, because fentanyl and heroin, the overdose, it's, a, it's essentially the exact same type of overdose. Uh, so fentanyl or heroin facts. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. Every day, over 150 people die daily, and it's definitely on the over, not the under, um, which is extremely, it's extremely eye-opening. Um, I mean, even if you look at like West Virginia out there, if you look at the overdose rate every day, it's it's unbelievable and it, and it continues to get worse with, especially now there's things that we've I've seen at least in the clinical setting of like Xanax being laced with fentanyl, um, people using heroin because it's cheap and just the amount of overdoses we see. Um, so yeah, that's why, that's the main purpose of this. Um, so first thing I wanted to go over is signs of an overdose. One of the most common things I've seen that somebody could be going trending in the wrong direction when it comes to overdosing is the small pinpoint pupils. Um, if you notice this, continue, don't freak out or panic. Don't panic. But just monitor it because some I mean, a lot of times when you're using these type of drugs, they become small and pinpoint. And I know you might say, now what if I'm using, what if I'm using with my friend? I know it's just information to keep, keep in the back of your mind. Cause if you're using and you notice your friend is going down and you're not, that could be a sign of overdosing. Um, the next one right here, this is a huge one. If you notice falling asleep or dozing off, I've seen that a lot. It's that nodding off. So a lot of times, like I've seen a patient who was overdosing on heroin and, and a friend as well, they start nodding. So they'll be sitting there like this and you'll see the you know, it's literally like a little mouth will open and they'll, they'll just drop their head. That that right there, that is a sign of overdose. Not necessarily that they're gonna, obviously, um, they, they're gonna need medical assistance right then, but it's a sign that they could be overdosing. The biggest one is right here, which is in caps, is watch the breathing rate. If you notice that slowness of breath, if they're not speaking to you, that is a sign immediately, which we will jump right on into, is going to be to call 911 and use Narcan if you have it. Watch the breathing rate. It's not an increase, it's a decrease. A normal breathing rate uh, is to, a breathing rate is anywhere from 12, which I'm just going to write right here, 12, oh, my pen will let me, 12 to 20 BPM, breaths per minute. That's normal. If you notice breaths where it's like one or you notice it, it doesn't look like a full breath and it starts getting below 10, once again, sign they could be overdosing. Big one that they are overdosing right here, choking, that choking and gurgly sound. So if it, when, their be when their breath rate really starts to drop, you'll notice that it's like that gurgling, like their lungs are filling. The you'll hear the... It's almost like it, it's almost like somebody has really bad um, sleep apnea, but that gurgling sound, and so it'll essentially kind of start looking like this. From what I've seen, it's like a so that that's another one. And at this point, you'd be trying to alert them. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. You want to the key is in this. You want to continue. You want to continue to alert them. You don't want them to daze off. Um, the final step that they are overdosing, and you want to call nine one one immediately is central cyanosis, which essentially just means blue lips, blue face, the discoloration. That means they're not getting oxygen to their brain, which is a medical emergency. Where you, All of these are signs of overdose, but when, in my opinion, once you get past, once 
past the small pinpoint pupils, once you see that dozing off, once they start dozing off and if you start noticing those gurgling sounds, it's time to get that Narcan or call 911. Now, luckily, luckily, in most states, they do have a good Samaritan Act because I'm sure the next question is, well, what if you're using with somebody and have heroin and you're afraid to call 911? Most states have the Good Samaritan Act where if you call and you get 911 out there and you have heroin and you are using with somebody, you won't be charged. It's called the Good Samaritan Act. Um, every state, I believe most states have it. I don't know the states that don't, but this is the main gist of what I wanted to get into next. So these are all the signs. So then I put this arrow right here of what to do. Number one, if you, and you, if you notice something is off, if you notice yourself, if you're by yourself and you're overdosing even, Call 911 immediately. Do not even hesitate. That's the number one thing. Number two, Narcan. And I don't know if you can, if, I don't know if it's legible enough, but you can, you can uh, call and you can, um, you can go into CVS or call and you can buy now nasal nar uh, Narcan. It's essentially just like a nose spray where you shoot it up the nose a couple times. You shoot um, for somebody and they will wake up um it reverses the high and they will be in a daze. They might throw up, but Narcan, always have Narcan available. That is huge. And it's not a prescription, it's over the counter. But a lot of people don't have it to where you just gotta dial 911. Biggest one, which I was talking about, the watching the breathing rate and the gurgling. If you feel like they're overdosing, try to alert and awake them to breathe. So continue to, hey, wake up, you know, keep them in there. You don't want them to doze off. You want them to keep breathing, so keep alerting them. Number four, lay, um, if you do notice they're out of it and there's and you've called 911, you've done Narcan, lay, lay the person on their side to prevent choking. So at this point, if they are out of it and they're not responding, you've called 911, put them on their side. You do not want them to choke because one of the number one ways somebody actually passes away is actually through choking um, when they over when they overdose, it's through choking. They aspirate. They end up vomiting. They end up vomiting, um, and you know they can't, that makes it even worse. Which means you know they can't breathe. So choking. Um, lastly, stay with the person until nine one one arrives. I know that, and that's what goes with the Good Samaritan law. Even if that doesn't apply to your state, stay with the person. I can't even tell you how many stories I've heard of people who have left and they they learned the next day their friend had died because they didn't even call 911. I know somebody who literally person survived but their friend got scared where they took them where they were both using they took the friend and took him outside and put him in a dumpster. Um but called 911 and said he was in the dumpster and the rest of them fleed the scene. Um so yeah, that is your daily dose of mental health. Um I tried to keep this video short and sweet. Um Share this with your friends, family. Um, in today's day and age, fentanyl and heroin are so common and so easy to get. And in particular, fentanyl-laced synthetic drugs. I mean, now they're lacing, and you're seeing teens overdose all the time on Xanax being laced with fentanyl. Um, I mean, many things laced with uh, fentanyl now. Um, so share it. This is your daily dose of mental health. I love you all. Let's have a good day. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll probably, my next video I will do, I'll probably do one on um, benzo, um, benzo withdrawals. What is benzo withdrawals? What to expect? What not to expect? Signs of overdoses as well. So look out for that. Peace, love. I love you all.